More than 3 million feet of boom has been deployed in the Gulf of Mexico to try to contain the massive oil spill. But the last line of defense in keeping oil from reaching sensitive marshland and beaches isn't perfect. The boom isn't always that sturdy. High wind and waves can send the oil sloshing over the sides. On Louisiana's Grand Isle, the frustration is palpable. The island is completely shut down. You know, we make a living, all of us, you know, between oil and gas and the, the commercial fishing, the charter boat captains, the marinas. Five weeks after the sinking of the Deepwater Horizon oil rig, people here see a bleak future. So the bottom line is, my beach is empty. And officials say no one is listening to them or relying on their knowledge of the area. We spent the first couple of weeks after they've had subcontractors that weren't from this area replacing and re-anchoring boom because they weren't, they didn't understand the, the, uh, the sea bottom, they didn't understand where the currents were. Experts say boom hasn't been used on this scale before. That also makes it harder to maintain. BP says the booms are still an effective tool, though a spokesman acknowledges they are not fail-safe. A fact that offers little comfort to the owner of this Grand Isle restaurant. Every day, I pray that if something happens, that it will be closed and everybody can get back to normal. One expert says that faith isn't misplaced. He suggested the use of the booms provides a psychological benefit where people can feel like something is being done to try to protect them from the oil. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.